If you want to know how to make an approximate calculation of the pH of any number, this little chart that you're looking at right now will get you most of what you want. And I will show you in this video how to go about using it. So let's start with a typical problem where you're giving a hydrogen ion concentration or a hydroxide ion concentration and you want to find the pH. So let's go to the first calculation problem and this is one where we're going to be calculating the pH from the concentration. So in this case we're going to be given the concentration of the hydrogen ion equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Let's get a little equal sign in there. And now we want to convert that to a pH and to do that we have to get the log of that number. So the first thing we're going to do is take the 5 and we're going to change the sign and what we're going to get is the number 5 right here. So that's coming from the 5 that was right here. We change the sign and that's our starting point for the log. It's going to be close to that number because the log of 10 to the minus 5 is 5. That number there, or the minus log, I, sh I should say, the minus log of 10 to the minus 5 is, is a 5. And that is be the actual definition of a log. So right here, we now have to account for this number, which isn't just 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to go off of the log chart. We're going to now look at our log chart and find that 1.6. Okay, so we, we take the 1.6 and we see that that is right here between 1 and 2. That's the number we're working with. So we see that there's 0 0.30 down to 0 0.0 and we're about halfway in between so we'll estimate that to be 0.15. We're just using an estimate. And that's where my 0.5 here is coming from. This number is subtracted from the original log that we got of the 10 to the minus 5. And we wind up with the actual log for the entire expression here, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5. The actual log is 4.85. And that came because we did the minus log of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5, and that's our final pH. Now let's do a second problem. In this time, in this type, we're going to calculate the concentration from the pH. Okay, so we're going backwards. If you're a math whiz, you know that that going backwards is an anti-log. And so this is a simplistic way to get an anti-log and come out fairly accurately. So we're going to be given a pH of 4.85. Now, the next biggest whole number is going to be 5. So we take our 5, and that is going to be the starting of our calculation. And we subtract the actual log from 5. So the 4.85 is going to get, get subtracted over here. And that is going to leave us with 0.15. What is the 0.15? Well, we're going to go to our table, and we're going to find in the logarithm column and look at the number from the number column. Now let's look at the chart again. We look at the chart, and we find the 0 0.15. 0 0.15 is between 0 0.30 and 0. And so we're going to approximate that as roughly 1.5. Now we're going to go back over here, and we're going to put a 1.5 here, which is the approximation of the numerical value of the logarithm 0.18. Not the logarithm, I'm 0.15. Not the logarithm of 1.5. 0.15 is the logarithm. And now we're going to go back to the actual number using our chart, 
and we put our 1.5 right here. This exponent of 10 comes from the whole number that is the next largest number from the 4.85, and that's where we get our 0.5. And that's how we go backwards with doing the anti-locks.